everyone. Welcome to our first live class. This is a virtual quarantine charcuterie board class and we are gonna have some fun tonight. No worries, you do not have to make one tonight too. Don't be worried about that. Just relax and tune in and I'm going to demo for you how I make mine and we might make some other special themed boards and then you can make yours at home. So my name is Nicole and I am the creator and writer at For the Love of Food blog. I started this blog nine years ago. So I have turned it into a full-time job now and I love doing it from home. I came up with this idea for this class because a lot of people ask me about the different cheese plates that I make. Um, I do them all the time for my family and for parties. So I thought I would make a quarantine style board. So what that means is we use ingredients we have at home. So you don't have to go to the grocery store unless your fridge is completely empty. <laughs> but what I did is I cleaned out my fridge. I cleaned out my pantry today. I went through and I had, you know, boxes that had two crackers left in them and, you know, random things, sauces and different things. I checked the expiration dates, but I pulled everything out and we are going to wing it. You know, this is quarantine style. Unfortunately, the last few months have been crazy and nothing is really planned anymore. So we're going to kind of wing it here and I have pulled everything out. I've washed and prepped some things, but I'm just going to show you how to make a great platter for your family with what you have. All right, so let's get started. So I put some info in the event if you guys want to look back and I'll post this on the blog too. But what you need for the basic charcuterie tray, which is also like a meat and cheese platter, is meat, cheese, usually a few different kinds of both, and also some sort of spread or dip. Um, I like to use honey, jam, um, different dips that I've made, salsa, I mean, you could use anything really. And um, then some kind of like a salty um, side, like olives, um, peppers, pickles, anything like that. And then I use fillers. Fillers are things that you fill in your tray. So chips are great, crackers are great, um, also nuts. I'm using trail mix today because we have a lot of random trail mixes in our pantry and that's a good quarantine item. Um, honey roasted peanuts, we had a lot of those too. So things like that to fill in your tray. Okay, so we are starting with what you need for your charcuterie platter. So I have this beautiful block cutting board. Hope you guys can see it there. And this is what I like to use. It's impressive looking and it's really easy to fill up and, and make look pretty. You can also use any kind of cutting board like the bamboo, nice cutting board. They don't have to be gigantic. Um, you can also use serving trays, chip and dip platters, whatever you want. So don't feel like you have to go out and buy something. And then I also always have little serving bowls. So I like the clear glass ones, so you can see what's in them. But I also, you know, I collect all these little bowls and things for all my different dips and jams. And then in my stuff, you know, my style is very mismatched. <laughs> so I have lots of little spreaders. Um, and, you know, my husband made me this little scoop here and some little spoons. So you want to have all those ready when you're envisioning your tray. I have a plate too, just a small serving plate. And I start with the big stuff first. So I like to have some kind of soft cheese on my board. Now this is going to be like a family friendly board. So nothing fancy. Obviously I don't have a fridge full. I wish I did, but a brie and prosciutto and all that stuff. So for a soft cheese today, I'm using cream cheese. A lot of us have that in our fridge. I had like four blocks I didn't even know I had in my fridge. So I am going to start with softened cream cheese. So all I'm going to do is place this right on the plate. And when I use brie, and this is why we need a spreader, I warm the brie and I put jam on top of it. Like I really like like raspberry jam or peach preserves and sometimes roasted nuts and you eat that with crackers or bread and it is delicious and it's super easy. This kind of the same idea, softened cream cheese, cheaper and easier to get than brie, but 
I've softened it and now I'm gonna add just a jar of jam right on top. They call this um, cream cheese block dip. I don't know if it's a southern thing, but super easy. So I have just a half a jar of red raspberry preserves here from my fridge. I have heated it up just for like 20 seconds so that I can pour it and you just pour it right on top. You can do this with anything, so seriously, check your fridge. You can do it savory too. Some people do salsa on top. Um, some people do like a jalapeno jelly. I've even seen people do, you want it sweet, like a canned pie filling on top. And that's it. Like how easy was that, right? So that's gonna be kind of our centerpiece. And we're gonna work around this. So pretty cream cheese spread right there. Now, I have some different meats here, so we're going to start with our meats. Normally, on meat and cheese platters, you have sausages, you have like fancy ham and salami, um, prosciutto, which is my favorite, um, pepperonis, things like that. I don't have any of that, so we have a lot of lunch meat. I have two little kids, so that's what we're going to use. I have ham and I have salami. Both of them are very thinly cut. So we are going to kind of create a river, is what they call it, a meat river. <laughs> and um, so you can do it in two different ways. So you can, and this is just a piece of ham, you can roll them. And we're gonna just kind of place it on here, do some different rolls of ham. And what I like to do for thinner pieces or smaller pieces, like if I had prosciutto, um, or salami. I will show you. I take it and it is a circle. Fold it in half, fold it in half again so you have this cute little design here and this is what we're gonna make our our little salami river with. And it'll look really pretty um, as an end result. So we're just gonna fold these and like I said we're using our plate, our centerpiece with our soft cheese just to kind of design around. There we go. And any kind of meat would work for this. So if you guys have lunch meat like I do, um, you can obviously cut it and make it prettier if you'd like, but I was going quarantine style and we're just using it straight out of the package. Another meat that I have that we usually always have <laughs> because I love it and it's usually in our fridge or our um, pantry is summer sausage. So I have beef summer sausage here. It's already sliced and this is always really yummy on the meat and cheese tray. So we are going to just kind of plate it around here. So I know you guys see what I'm wearing right now is my quarantine shirt. I've gotten a lot of compliments on it. It is from Shabby Chic Apparel and Amber um, runs that shop. I love supporting small businesses. She sent me this shirt and a couple other stay at home shirts for me and the girls to wear, which I love. I, we wore them in a couple other videos before and I'm giving away one of these tonight. So anybody that comments, um, we will add up the comments at the end and pick a random number and I'll send you either the quarantine shirt or the stay at home shirt. So be sure to comment and RSVP for the event. And now, let's see, let's add a little bit more meat. All right, and then we're gonna do our cheese. So we've already got our soft cheese. And this is like a preference thing. I didn't do any spicy cheeses because this is gonna be for my whole family. But I got a couple, I have one block cheese that I sliced and I sliced everything into like little bite-sized rectangles, usually is what I like. Um, and then I also have Gouda, and this is just sliced sandwich style cheese. Nothing fancy, it's what we had in our fridge. So I have some Gouda that I'm gonna put on here. And then I have cheddar, same thing, sandwich. And then this is a white block cheese that I sliced. Let's do it over here. There is no wrong way to do this. You can do them in themes. Um, it 
really any way you want. I've done these for my kids before, movie night, um, cheese plates. I've done these for our anniversary and it was a dessert cheese plate with lots of fruit and chocolate and whipped cream. So there's no wrong way to do it. Um, we're gonna do our serving bowls and I'm gonna kind of fill in some places here. So let's see, let's do one right here. This will kind of be like a fan look. And one over here. And then I have a dip that I made. When I talked about doing dips and spreads, I made a French onion dip. Totally spur of the moment thing. I cleaned up my pantry and I had packages of you know dip seasoning. I like to make the ranch dip with sour cream for my kids. You can make your own with your own seasonings. I have that recipe on the blog if you wanna check it out or use the package stuff. Um, I had a French onion dip today. I didn't have sour cream, quarantine style. I cleaned out my fridge and I found some plain yogurt, just plain non-fat yogurt. That works just as good. And so I used two cups of that with the French onion dip seasoning, put it in the fridge for about 30 minutes. And that's gonna go right on here and that'll be delicious with veggies, bread, crackers, chips, you name it. Everybody likes that stuff. And actually, do you think, Mr. Cameraman, that you can go get my dip for me out of the fridge? I wasn't prepared for that. I thought I was prepared, but you know, I haven't been prepared since I had kids basically, so. Okay, we're done with our meat, I think, for now. Here's our dip. Thank you, sir. So I'm gonna use a bigger clear bowl for the dip. Obviously you don't wanna put a gigantic thing like this on your platter. And it's up to you if you wanna do garnishes. We're just gonna wing it and just put it on here, but it looks good, it smells good. Okay, so we have this. We'll put this over near the front. So there we go with that. We wanna put have our spreaders and stuff ready. So in another bowl, let's see what we're gonna add. We're gonna do some olives. I always have olives in my fridge. If you don't have olives, you could do, like I said, sliced pickles, those little mini pickles, or slices like of dill pickles, those are good. Um, I also like roasted red peppers, artichoke hearts. I mean, really, you could do so many things. Um, black olives are good too. I love these olives, they're buttery olives. They do have pits, but that's all right. So we're gonna fill up our bowl. Now you don't have to use bowls, but for certain things, specifically like olives and berries, I don't want them rolling off the plate. So I like to use bowls. It also gives it kind of some color, some height. So we'll put this over here, over here. All right, what else are we gonna add? Okay, so I have chips. So random stuff. We use these Parmesan crisps for salads, but they're also really good on meat and cheese plate, uh, plates. We are going to fill in our spaces. I'm going to get, Ashton, can you get me some mustard? some probably Dijon mustard. I'm gonna use one of these bowls for that. So we're filling in our spaces here. And you can use whatever you want. So I have a whole bunch of stuff that I found and I was just gonna kind of see what, what I wanted here. We're doing a sweet and savory thing as you can see. Help you some grape of Oh, grape of palms, thank you. Um, <laughs> all right, so random huge bag that nobody ate of some oriental trail mix so this is going this is perfect um i'm going to use one of my bowls for this though just gonna try to pour it in and not make a mess um i usually use on my more like fancy schmancy platters smoked almonds um because those are so yummy and i also like um, pistachios all right so smoked almonds, amazing that we actually had half a can left because my husband like drinks these. So I'm sure he'll eat these up tonight. So smoked almonds in here, over there. These are good not to put in a bowl too and you can kind of fill in some spots, but trust me. 
All right. What else do we want to add here? So I have my mustard. All right, Ash, I need another little bowl, please. Honey. Thank you. All right, so fill in our spots. You don't have to just put something on here one time. Um, Double-sided, like these Parmesan crisps. I'm gonna put them on either side over here because everybody likes them. Then I have some, what, vegetable chips. These are really good with the French onion dip. It's gigantic. I need it for this. Small bowl. Thank you. So we're gonna put these over in the corner over here with our French onion dip. And this is filling up really quickly. And see, it looks gigantic in the beginning, but once you start adding stuff, thank you, not the prettiest bowl, but that'll work. All right. So I usually wouldn't have this this big of a bowl for mustard, but we're just gonna add. So I always put mustard on my platters, especially if you have summer sausage. I really like mustard and crackers. Okay, so speaking of crackers and bread, I found this random garlic breadsticks. Um, I don't think I got a little cup of these though. Oh my gosh, I just can't get it together today. I would break these in half because they are pretty tall. You can lay them on here. I also thought it would look kind of neat. Do we have any kind of like shot glass looking stuff or like a little, if you put these in like a shot glass, and it would add some height and look really cute. The kids like to eat these. Look at that, perfect, a little mason jar. All right. Okay, so now some more crackers. Random open bag of crackers. Filling in our spots. We're almost done, guys. Be sure to comment so you can win one of these awesome shirts. So our other giveaway, let me tell you guys about that really quick. Um, I am giving away, and I posted a picture in the event if you want to check it out, but Idaho Potatoes, they sent me an awesome prize pack, and I am giving it to one of you guys. So it is a bamboo serving platter, which you can make a charcuterie platter on. It is also a an apron. <laughs> you want to hand this? <laughs> If you guys want to see it, it is shaped like Idaho, <laughs> but it's so cute and it's carved and it's nice. So we have that, we have a bag and we have an apron and then I am going to include some of my favorite spreads. I really like when I'm doing a fancier platter or one for just like adults only. I love bacon jam. I love fig spread um, and you can find those. Don't think that you can only get those in like a gourmet store. They have those at Walmart. I'm a target too. And I do a lot of the, the online shopping or the grocery pickup. So don't think that you have to go in the store, like they're available and you can get them now. Um, so I will send some of those though to one of the winners. So what you have to do to win the big prize is going to be create your own charcuterie platter, your quarantine version. There's no right or wrong really, as you can see. And post a picture in the comments of this video after the video's over and we will randomly choose a winner um, and I will give you guys like 48 hours so you don't feel like you have to do it tonight or anything like that but we'll choose a winner and I'll ship all that stuff to you so you will love it okay so we've got this on here and I'll add these in a couple spots and then we have one more thing to add and I think we're done and this is totally gonna be our dinner tonight so I'm, I'm jazzed that I don't play dinner too so all right this is my go-to for like Friday night movie nights and everyone loves it. And it's a great way to use up leftovers. <laughs> so why not? Okay, can I get that to stay on there? All right. Okay, let's just, that's good with the crackers. The last thing, last but not least, we have fruit. So all types of fruit work. I like sliced apples and pears. Those go brown, so when you slice them, so you can toss them in lemon juice. I like to toss them in pineapple juice. There's a tip if you haven't tried that before. It's sweeter, but it does the same thing where it's not gonna go brown. 
So, but we're not gonna do that tonight. I have some grapes and some blueberries, nice, easy to grab snacks here. So, let's see. We're gonna put the grapes in a bowl and we're gonna put the blueberries on here as a filler. And then we are done. The last step when you make these is to add all your spreaders and spoons and everything like that. And don't feel, if you have like a little plate, don't feel like you have to put it all on one plate. I did a, and I don't know if he's watching, but I'm gonna share this video with them. My uncle Mike, I did a meat and cheese charcuterie competition with him for Thanksgiving. And we like to do different cooking competitions because we're crazy like that. And he made like this table spread of stuff like waterfalls and picture frames and stuff. Like it was crazy. And I tried to stick to my board, but it was really impressive and really pretty. And, and so don't think that you have to stick just to the board. You can have some extra little like, just like mini crock pots a dip and whatever you wanna do. Don't feel like you have to stick to the board. Okay, I'm gonna move some stuff around. We got our grapes here, got our almonds here, and let's see where we can put our blueberries. Hmm. Okay, I am going to, I need another little bowl, babe. You were such a good assistant tonight, a little one. A pretty little one oh. in in the where the bowls are at. I keep the little ones right here. <laughs> okay, let's add our spreaders where we're waiting on him. So, my cute little love spreader. I'm gonna add that for the cream cheese. I just love that. That's so easy to make, and it goes with everything. <laughs> Those are measuring cups. <laughs> <laughs> Good there's bowls. there's like little dip bowls just like a, it's just for blueberries there's like a little circle red one you know what like this yeah hand that thing that was for something else but i'll take it okay so blueberries <laughs> <laughs> just go with it just go with it all right put it over here all right guys so i think we're done with this hope you guys like this if you're Still hanging out and want me to make another one? I can do another quick one. Um, I don't know how many people are tuning in. Why don't I just do, I'll do another, I'll do a kid style snack board for movie night. How about that? Because we have a ton of kid snacks. But can we like zoom in or do like a shot of the finished board here so you guys can see? It looks so good and it was so easy and literally everything you already have trail mix, olives, lunch meat, cheese, chips. How pretty is that, right? I wish I had my camera. Can you take a picture of it for me after? Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll take a picture after we're done. Okay, so I'll do another one. If you guys can, can tune in for like another 10 minutes. Can I get you to take this for me? Maybe over there on the... And bring, you want to bring me that, hold on babe, <laughs> bring me that clear bin full of snacks. Okay, so for my kids, we are super lucky in our county that they give us free bagged lunches Monday through Friday at the bus stop. Oh, don't drop it. You're like such an exaggerator because it's not that heavy. Okay, so... We get lots of little snacks and stuff for them that they don't always eat. I'm super grateful for the sandwiches every day and the cereal, but all the little extras I keep in my fridge in this bin and we are going to use it to make a kid's snack platter. So I have another, this is just my little bamboo cutting board, wiped clean and Ashton, can you go put that in the fridge so it doesn't Thank you for your help. Thank you. Okay, so we are gonna use some of this stuff for the kids board, and you can use this for an adult board too, but it's just stuff that we already have. We have like, I don't know, five million and one cheese sticks here. So mozzarella cheese sticks, easy. So I'm gonna take a few of those. We have these bagged baby carrots, and they really like ranch dip. So I'm gonna do that. 
Ashton, don't walk away. I'm going to need your help. Okay. We've got sliced apples, sliced apples and pears. And we've got a couple of these celery. So my kids don't eat celery. I'm not a big fan of celery. It kind of just doesn't have a taste. So we're going to add some peanut butter to that and put that on here. And we're going to open up all this stuff. So this is what else I have here. Are you playing that while I'm on here? That's no. weird. Okay. Lunchables. I have these on days that I just don't want to do anything and my kids love it. And I know they're easy to make at home, but you know, I buy them. But how perfect are they for these, uh, these platters, right? So, I have two different kinds, ham and turkey. We're just going to put these out and we'll think that we like made a homemade lunchable for them and they'll be so impressed with us. Okay, doesn't have a lot of cheese, but we can add some more of our own cheese. Um, do you think that you can put some peanut butter on these couple celery for me? All right, already has crackers. I don't really like those crackers, so we're gonna skip the crackers. They taste like cardboard. I don't, I don't. I don't get the whole lunchable thing, but that's, you know, it's a kid thing, I guess. Okay, so we're going to just, same kind of thing. I didn't start with the soft cheese on this one, even though my kids do like cream cheese, but we're kind of winging this one too. So I'm just going to kind of go with the flow. I'll add a couple bowls. My daughter really likes um, pickles, so I'm going to add some pickles. This is what else I have. So I have these little round Baybel cheeses that they beg for every time we go to the store and I always say no because they're really expensive but today I like caved. And uh, so I've gotten some of these. We usually have some of these in our fridge or cheese sticks. So we'll do a couple of these and pepperoni. Um, I usually keep these in my pantry for pizza night. We do make your own pizza night and um, so this is something I always have on hand, and the kids love them. Thank you. It's just magically appearing on the tray. I love it. All right, so we're going to spread out our pepperoni here. Thank you, thank you. Jazz up our celery there with some peanut butter. And so I have two kids, and they will probably eat this whole platter for dinner. So you can... Um, adjust it, the serving size to your children. I have lots of random fill-in things here. So like, almost empty bag of these crunchy snow peas. This is a good filler. I also have some random honey roasted peanuts. All right, we're gonna use our blueberries. And can you hand me the Ritz crackers and those peanut butter bites? And the raisins. They have handed to me a <laughs> It's not like I'm live or anything. Okay. Ritz crackers. Way better than the Lunchable crackers. Put these on here. And random like peanut butter bites. So I usually make these like sweet and savory. I don't usually have a theme, but, you know, we go with what we have here. All right, what else? Oh, pickles. Gigantic jar of pickles that my daughter loves. All right. So, we're going to add pickles on here in one of our bowls. Thank you guys for tuning in and we're not done yet I just want to thank you guys and thanks for commenting and joining my first live class and if you have any recommendations for other classes you want me to teach or if you want me to do like a dessert board or anything I like to do a lot of crock pot cooking so I can do a class on that but please comment let me know and definitely follow the page because I try to post like three or four times a day 
so we always have lots of cool recipes the blog like I said I started it nine years ago so I have over a thousand recipes and posts on there um, so lots of things to check out if you haven't been to it all right I need to add my cheese you want to peel some of these for me Ash Can you just pop these open? Three, I guess. Somebody said a dessert bar or dessert. Yeah, a dessert tray. Yeah, and I did that before um, for our anniversary, I think. And um, I like to use whole berries for that. So like the big strawberries, you can dip them in chocolate or just have them on the board and just fill your bowls with different dips. Like uh, whipped cream, homemade whipped cream is really yummy. I like to just use really cold, heavy cream in a cold bowl, whip it with a little bit of brown sugar and vanilla. Homemade whipped cream in just a couple minutes. So good. Um, you can have chocolate sauce. You can have like a raspberry jam, um, different things like that. And what else did we put on there? You can have, I mean, the sky's the limit. You can have like mini cupcakes and anything you want. Twinkies. Yeah, you can do, what did you say, brownies? Brownie brittle. Oh, brownie brittle. Yeah, you can do, I mean, any kind of, you can do candy. Okay, so I'm gonna cut up these cheese sticks. You should probably cut those too. Can you give me a knife? Or you can do it. Thanks, babe. All right, so good way to use up all your leftovers. Add some apples. I think these are already tossed in lemon juice so they don't I'm gonna open up a bag anymore. So weak. There we go. Um, but like I said, if you don't have lemon juice, pineapple juice works great and tastes better in my opinion. Can you hand me a knife or cut up these cheese sticks? I'm gonna make it a mess on this one. Too. And then I think I'll use, I'll need some ranch, please, sir. Actually, do you think we'll need that French onion dip? Okay, well, let's do the French onion dip. Let me set that up. And we also have an extra special thing to add to this over there. Thank you. Let's do this. We have popcorn. I always add popcorn to theirs. I'm sure we're gonna watch a movie on Friday night, and so popcorn is a really fun thing to add to a um, kid's platter. And on the dessert platter, you could do caramel popcorn. It's another thing. I also like to just do bowls of like the little mini chocolate chips and things just to snack on. Thank you. Can your hands clean? Yes. Oh, it's wash your hands. Okay. Here we go, so blueberries. And now we're gonna fill in some spots here with our fillers. So for the kids, I'm gonna do, what should I do here? Um, can I have the pretzels? I'm sorry, Ashton, thank you for your help. I'm going to fill it in with pretzels, I'm going to fill it in with some of the nuts, and they will think these little breadsticks are neat. I think we're about done, guys. So this is just, oh, these are like baby pretzels. This is just an example of how to do it for your kids. So I skipped... Some of the things that you would do for the grown-ups with the soft cheese spread, with the fancy olives, um, the veggie chips, like the, some of the stuff that us grown-ups would like, kids maybe not. And instead, I added a lot of the the leftover lunch lunch um, things that we have. So we have the peanut butter bites, we have celery with the peanut butter inside of them. I have raisins, I have mini carrots and cheese sticks. So like I said, the sky's the limit. You guys come up with whatever you want. I don't really add mustard or anything to the kids ones either. If I had a sweet element on here, I would put a jam, but
but I don't really think we need it. I think this has a lot of different, different toppers in here that they will like. And I don't have one right now, but I would add a spoon in here for our dip. And then I think that one's good to go. So we used up those Lunchables. Look, I'll add this too, because I'll like this. You can, of course, add some, some sweet desserts. There we go. How about that? All right, what do we think? How does this look? Cute? Good enough to eat? All right, so that's our kid board. And you saw our quarantine board for the whole family. I hope you guys loved it. And I can't wait to hear what you think. And I can't wait to see your pictures of your boards that you create over the next few days. And I will tag the winners. And if you commented during this video and you RSVP'd for the event, we will pull a random number and we'll send you a shirt. Thanks guys. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Nicole and I'll see you next time.